This is Robert Kraft, and I'm your host on SNN Network. And joining me today is Jeff Hashim. He's the CEO of Ready Shred Capital Corp. It's a publicly traded company. The symbol is KUT on the TSX Venture. And Ready Shred will be presenting at our upcoming in-person investor conference, the Planet Microcap Showcase, happening May 3rd through the 5th. 2022 at Bally's Casino and Resort in Las Vegas. For more information to register and see Jeffrey's presentation, please go to www.planetmicrocapshowcase.com. And with that, Jeff, thank you so much for joining me today. How are you doing? Great. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. It's great to have you on. So this is our, actually, I, you've presented a couple of our events before, but this is our first time doing an interview together uh, to, to find out a little bit more about the business. So can you start us off with that quick overview and history of Ready Shred? Yeah, well, the history is not quick, so I'm going to have to get, I'm going to have to give you the very condensed version. Uh, Ready Shred actually started as Pro Shred, Pro Shred, and Pro Shred is still our largest brand. Uh, and you can imagine Pro Shred is in the shredding business. So we shred paper, products, hard drives. Um, we shred on site and we shred primarily for small, medium sized enterprise companies. So that's, that's our primary brand. Uh, we have sort of two channels, if you will, of, of, um, providing the service, one through franchisees and one through corporately owned operations. And uh, that's important because um, our, our strategy and our goal is over time when franchisees are looking to retire, and a lot of them will be looking to retire soon, is to buy them uh, and to continue to develop our footprint then through acquisitions of shredding companies. We also have two other businesses, uh, ProScan, which is in the scanning, digital imaging, scanning and hosting business smaller business, but very high growth business. And we're very excited about that business as well. And then Security Cycle, which is an electronics waste company headquartered in Kansas City, perfect location uh, for us there. So, so we've got these three businesses. You can see the, the um, flavor is very much information security, very much recycling, very much doing the right thing for our customers and helping them retain their information the right way dispose of their information in a secure way, and of course, in a green way. So that that's in a nutshell. Uh, ProShred has been around since 1986, and Ready Shred Capital Corp has owned the ProShred brand and now these other brands since 2008 when, when we completed our qualifying transaction. Very good. So shredding, recycling, most people might think, wait, what? I, I, I don't even know. I didn't even know people still use paper. At, at our businesses, you know, so can you tell us about what makes Ready Shred unique and different compared to just your, you know, your good old fashioned, you know, your store bought shredder, and then just throwing in the trash, you know, can, some folks might think, oh, that why, why do we need produce when, when you can just do that? Yeah, well, let's start with the latter and then we'll move to the former part of the question. Uh, first of all, um, if you're a company and you produce any piece of paper with any information on it or any digital piece of paper with any information on it, you have an obligation under the many, many rules and regulations in the United States to protect that information. Uh, and it could be as simple as a sticky note uh, that has a, a client piece of information on it. That needs to be protected. And the only way to protect it is to destroy it once. So a, a, you need to secure it, whether it's physical or digital, and then you need to destroy that information. And many more and more states in the United States, there is a life cycle to holding that. You can't hold the information for more than a certain period of time. So that's number one. Uh, so that's the beauty of this business is that we solve a problem that is legislated by the government. And if you're not doing the right thing as a company, you could be fined, you could be jailed. There's many, many things that could happen that are bad. So why not spend $100 a month uh, for shredding to take care of that problem? Or why not spend uh, a certain amount of money uh, to uh, digitize your documents so you can have them and secure those documents and have them accessible when you want to have them accessible. So that's that's the the first part. And so why use a why why would you buy a shredder uh, from Staples and use that? Well, don't know. They break. They're flimsy. And do you really want to spend time shredding all that paper? No. Just just use our service. We spend more on coffee service than we do on shredding in this office, and that's probably most offices. Let me talk about paper. Paper is not going anywhere. Uh, in fact, uh, this year, uh, in the first three quarters of this year, um, our tonnage was up 10% year over year. So 
why is tonnage up? And, that, and, and people go, well, what's going on? People aren't holding on to paper. No, they're not storing paper. They're digitizing their paper and then they're shredding it. They're not storing as much paper, but they still create paper and they create paper on demand. They digitize a document. Then once they digitize it, they might print some of it, all of it. And then when they're done with it, they put it in our bin because they know it's secure. That's why our tonnage is up. And uh, that's paper certainly isn't going anywhere soon. Certainly the storage of paper is, is reducing. So our business model is to provide that $100 a month service to take care of their paper on demand. And, uh, and that's how we're winning. Who's, what, what does the competitive landscape look like? You know, industrial shredding. Yeah, well, look, uh, for our type of shredding, uh, there's, really, there's really a handful of larger players. The two largest would be uh, Iron Mountain and Shreddit. Uh, they're the behemoths in our industry. Uh, Iron Mountain, for example, is mainly a document storage company that happens to do shredding. Shredded, it was bought by Stericycle. Uh, both shred on, in plants primarily. They do some on-site shredding on the truck, but primarily plants. We're the next largest shredding company, the mo most pure play shredding company. Uh, the vast majority of our shredding is done on the truck. The biggest difference though, is we target small, medium-sized enterprise <clears throat> where our competitors target um, larger fortune 1,000, 2,000 companies. Uh, so that's our advantage in that we can go into a building and knock out 10 customers in a few hours uh, and move on to the next building. So we can still get route density. We can still get good economics um, versus going to one client, let's say the Bank of America building and servicing them all day. Uh, that's another way to do it, but that's not our way. Got it. And what's your background? I mean, how, how'd you come into all this? Doesn't everybody grow up wanting to get in the shred business? You like, took the words, the joke out of my mouth. <laughs> I, I, the, that was too good. Yeah, it's, uh, look, I, uh, I'm an accountant by training. So I'm a, I'm a, uh, in Canada, a chartered accountant. And now it is actually called a CPA in Canada. Um, and uh, I was fortunate enough that I, I wasn't very sure what I wanted to do. So I also did my MBA and, um, and, uh, and then I wound up after spending some time at EY and uh, in firms, I, I went to, into industry in CFO roles and did a bunch of turnarounds. ProShred was my first expansion. Uh, uh, like yourself, you've got young kids at a certain point, you don't want to be doing turnarounds and uh, ProShred was an expansion. And here I am 17 years later to the day almost that uh, ProShred is now uh, you know, got a run rate of well over $40 million a year in revenue, uh, in 10 million, well over $10 million EBITDA. Uh, and I, and for me, why do I like doing what I'm doing? Why are we doing what we're doing? Is I've got a great team. The team knows what they need to do. The, the vision is clear. Let's take care of our customers. Let's make it easy for them, whether it's shred, scan, or e-waste. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm an accountant that that became a, uh, a business operator. And now the very nice thing is I get to work on the business and, and really drive the growth. And, and uh, um, you know, we've been very fortunate to, to be able to access the capital markets and, and really drive our growth from acquisition and organic. So it's, it's, it's been a privilege. I, I, listen, I just, I love that you embrace the, the, the shreddingness of all of it. You know, I mean, how, how can you not have a good sense of humor yeah. when you're in the shredding business? I, I just, I love it. So, so Jeff, to close us out here today, before, before I let you go, uh, what would you say are some of the company's value catalysts now for the rest of 2022? Yeah, it, look, the, the company has executed on the game plan. So, you know, a lot, even through COVID, I mean, here's the beautiful thing about our business. We're COVID resistant. Um, or re resilient. Uh, we we were down in 2020 on a same store basis, uh, but not. We we're down about 15. Uh, percent We're very. We're one of the lucky ones. Uh, but that's on same store. But we were still acquiring, so we were still adding uh, revenue that way. For us, it's if we buy something, grow it. So it isn't good enough to just buy it and let it fade away. We want to buy it and then we want to add our sales and marketing engine to continue to grow it. So organic growth on a same location basis is very critical. We also wanna buy smart. We, don't, we are not the volume buyers. We wanna buy our franchisees when they come due. And then we wanna buy the one of many, there's 750 independents in the United States. We wanna buy those and tuck those in to create more route density. So it's a very simple strategy. Organically grow it, buy our franchisees, and then buy independents to tuck in. 
And so for us to go from that 40 plus million dollars in revenue and 10 plus million dollars in run rate EBITDA, my franchisees have 30 million in revenue and 10 million in EBITDA. And then we've got another, uh, if we buy 5% of the independents, that's another 30 million and another 10. Uh, I think you can see where we're going. Just by doing what we're doing, we're hoping to get there, all things being equal, and and we've been executing. So we're, we're again very privileged that we've been able to do what we've been able to do, especially in the last two years. It's it's been quite rewarding. And Jeff, uh, with that, where can our audience go and find more information on Ready Shred? Great, thank you. Two websites. Uh, first website is www dot ready shred.com r-e-d-i-s-h-r-e-d.com the other one is proshred.com so www.proshred.com p-r-o-s-h-r-e-d.com very simple very easy um please visit uh, and we really look forward to attending this conference in person in las vegas thanks for doing this robert absolutely thank you so much for joining me today good luck stay safe and we'll see you in vegas for sure.